Sure is dark. I'll open up the lights. Whee! Here I am. Hello there, Mr. Muggs. Uh, why am I here at uh, 9.40 at night? Because my friend Mr. Gas Sub Wild 8101 in Tokyo closed the door of his 84 Suburban from DeWitt, Iowa. And I could hear the latch go clunk, crank. So I told him he has to spray fluid film inside the door. And he said that he can't get the door panel screws off. This is a latch mechanism I removed from a Tahoe or a Yukon or a Suburban in, where was I in California? California Auto Salvage with the goats. Anyways, if you just spray it randomly, you won't get it right on the mechanism. It has to hit the springs. And I don't know how much Mr. Gas Sub Wild can understand of English because I can't understand one word of Japanese except I don't like sushi. So, after he figures out how to remove the door panel, he has to spray everything with fluid film. And it has to be coated and drenched, and you have to operate the mechanism over and over and over until it operates smoothly. You can't just give it a fast spray. It's got to be drenched. It doesn't have to be fluid film. It could be Amazon oil spray grease or Super X from Texas Dollar Store. Uh, what else? He said that he bought some parts that were very expensive, and he didn't like the fact that... If he took off the door panel and something was broken, he couldn't get parts for it. I said, there's nothing going to break. You're taking off a plastic door panel. And he said to me that he bought pull strap covers for 150 US dollars. That sounds excessive. And I had a whole bunch of them. And where did I put them? 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 Hmm. Where did I put them? Aha! Pull strap covers, these things? Huh, can't believe those tabs aren't broken. They're always broken, they're so flimsy. Well, that's got one broken. $150 for two of these? How about 15 cents? I've got lots of spare parts. Regulators, brake springs, power window switches, power seat, power seat switches. Seat. Horn buttons. It's got the little horn insignia. Prindle four speed automatic overdrive. Nope, turbo 400 on that one. That one's a 700. I got all kinds of goodies. Sub rear wheel bearings. Tail light converters for orange tail lights. Fuel hose. Interior lights for a trailer. All kinds of goodies. All kinds of good stuff. The good stuff. Yep. All kinds of goodies. American racing. All kinds of goodies. Tabs are always busted off. To remove it, you push it back. I wonder which screws he's having trouble removing. He said he couldn't remove the screws. So I've taken off my share of door panels from Sa. What was that? Got trouble? In River City? Just a minute, Muggs. There's two screws right there. Those are the hardest ones to remove. One screw, two screw. The way to remove those, well, there's my cordless grinder. 
always leaks. Carpet's always wet. Uh, those screws are the problem. Water goes down there and it rusts. What you do is you take a needle or a pointy screw and you clean out the cross where the screwdriver goes in and blow it up with air pressure. <laughs> and you push down hard and you remove those screws, slide off the armrest. And there's four screws down here. Those always come out with a problem. One, two, three, four. And then you take off the top, take off that plastic cover. These are already missing because they always fall off. And then you take off the door handle escutcheon right there. And you crank this off and you break the plastic tabs that hold the panel tight to the door. They always break. Take off the door unlock button. I don't know why they don't put this thing over here where it belongs. Why reach over your shoulder? Dum diddy dum dum. Sometimes on four door cars they put the back one right there. The front door? Right here. Stupid. When they put it over here in the handle it's in a convenient spot but then they put it back here. And anyhow. So you pull off the door panel and you lift it up and there's four metal springy thingies that are really hard to navigate. And you gotta crank it up with the window down, crack it, and then it hits over here. And that's it, your door panel is off. Then you can spray fluid film all over the mechanism on the inside. Remember I showed you what was tinkling on the other door? I kept hearing rattle, 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 rattle. That steel plate right there. I'll show you. Click. Isn't that nice? That's how doors are supposed to close. Click. You can just hear the grease on the mechanism, the fluid film. It swings by itself. Perfect. How's the back ones? This one kind of closes with a weird noise. Oops. Beautiful. Just a minute, Mr. Muggs. I know. No mice, no cats. No reason to stay inside. Driver's door. Hall was obviously the most worn. Oh. Rattles when I drive. I wonder what pulls that on. Screws loose? Who knows? How's that door close? Look at that. Beautiful. Ha! That's the way it's supposed to close. How's this back door? Lots of fluid film? Yeah, all goopied up. This one's too tight. This one I have to give it a little bit more persuasion. Even the button. Even the button operates smoothly. The button goes through the handle and it hits a plate. The button has a pin, hits a plate, the plate turns, there's a spring down there, it slides through and it's all got to be all goopied up. Listen to it. People ask me, how come your doors close perfectly? Because I pay attention to detail. I don't know how many of these trucks have got a ridge in there. I get into. Now, of course, they're all extinct. Same handle as the Chevy van. Uh oh! Corrosion. You get into it, and you close the door, and you just hear all the mechanisms grinding against each other dry, dusty steel. Isn't that beautiful? There's something whining. I wonder if that's a mahogany brown, white, and black dog with spots and speckles and a hunchback. Even the tailgate. Greased, lubed to death. Every pivot point needs grease. Has to be dripping. Mm-hmm. Pivot points dripping with grease. Every pivot point so it can attract lots of sand and dust.
every pivot point. Ready? Oops, that one's a little on the tight side. No grinding, smashing. If you don't lube it, it'll crack. That steel housing will crack. Click! Got a sample of this stuff. No rust slide. Never used it. It's just been sitting here. On the edge. Right there. It's kind of loose. Feel it kind of crunch when you press it as it tries to align itself. I've seen the button pop right out because it corrodes in there. Get a little on the tight side. You can move this striker pin out just a fraction. It's hard to get it just right. And my hinges as well. Nothing escapes my attention. Every single part of the hinge is lubed. Every single part. The spring that goes down the back, the little rollers, the detent rollers. Is that enough? 8 minutes 53 seconds. Beautiful. How many times can I do that? <laughs> All right. It's enough. It's Sunday night. Monday morning is a work day. Just like the weekends are work days. Horns. Oh, my friend. God, I told him I'd be by last week. His idler on his transport is broken. Jeez, that one right there. Ah, oh, he's going to kill me. I told him I'd be by last week. Don't worry, I'll pass by. This is all the parts I got from those junk carriages in California. Still sitting here. Yep. Ecology Auto Parts. This was the cheapest, best place. They had three or four Suburbans way in the back. And Palm Springs, Palmdale, or Thousand Oaks. Thousand, that was in Thousand Oaks, or Thousand Palms, or Thousand Pines, or Thousand Mugs. All right, we're done. Thanks for watching. You're a movie star, Mugs. Face it, you're a movie star.